Greetings, loved ones. Uh, let's actually not fucking look at that um, for now. Greetings, loved ones. It is I. I have returned. Why have I been gone for much longer than usual? Well, it's because I've been sick for the past three weeks. I started bleeding out my asshole for a week, got better for two days, came down with a sinus cold, then got travel sickness traveling across the country, and now I'm sick again. It's a different kind of sickness. I'm struggling to breathe sometimes, but you know what? It's fine. It's f I'm fine. Because today we are going to be checking out something absolutely soul destroying. Yes. Specifically, weird and suspicious furry merchandise. Now, I'm not talking about plushies or getting your badge commissioned or, you know, a fursuit. That's completely normal in comparison to some of the other stuff. No, I'm going to be exposing you to some of the horrors of the internet today. I'm going in blind, although I know where to look and I have seen some things that have inspired this video. Let's get to it. And what better place to start than Fur Affinity's adverts? Now the adverts will pop up in places like this, but when you turn on the NSFW tag, they stop being, you know, corporate ones like Adobe, and they become more uh, personalised and from smaller artists selling much larger ideas. This is my obligatory statement of please do not go and attack any artists or creators that are depicted in this video. We are just looking at this for entertainment purposes, even though some of the things depicted are quite suspicious. I get people have to make a living and feed themselves and their families, but just because what they do is different, it doesn't mean they deserve death threats. I am also not sponsored by anyone here. Regardless if I'm loving the product or critiquing the product, I am not sponsored in any way. God. Right, these are all just taking me to, like, Etsy and uh, people recasting uh, bad dragon toys and selling them. Etsy has a gold mine of absolutely horrific things. I'm trying so hard to get a picture that isn't fucking porn. Oh god. So right now I'm just looking and there is a lot of stolen artwork. So if your artwork has been stolen and repurposed into an ad for fursuit perfume, I am so sorry. It's just a bottle of perfume that looks like this, right? But it has the scent of like foot tail and crotch musk. How the fuck do you get that? Like I know um, from the blessed video the internet historian has created about perfumes and shit. You know, you can get some freaky smells from the assholes of animals. How are you getting foot, tail and crotch musk? What do you have to process to get these things? Are they just like boiling down pubes? Dehydrating pieces of foot skin? And, and what kind of tail are we talking about? Lots of animals have tail. Are they specifically crocodilian tail? That's, that sounds a little illegal. Heavy notes of spray paint. Cause you know, when I want to, you know, spray my fursuit or spray myself and I'm thinking of croc bulge, I'm thinking of heavy notes of spray paint. Take this shit to a lab. Take this shit to a forensic team or whatever. They will assess it, break down the chemicals, and they will probably find something illegal in here. Oh, I don't even want to click on that. Mufasa, no. <laughs> of course it's in the United States, like, why not? Also, for 30 milliliters at that price, plus shipping if you live outside the US. <sighs> That's a lot. I mean, you can get two of them for quite a good deal, so I'm not complaining about that, but holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> to censor everything else out. Wait, what? Chicago rat hole. Right, I know it's meant to be Chicago rat anus, but I like to just think they've went to Chicago and they have uh, went to this fucking dingy back alleyway and they found a hole in the ground and they just start taking samples and they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, the, the furries are gonna love this. They're gonna smell just like the rats. You know, hopefully get some fleas in there that carry the plague, you know. Oh, real good. Melted down. Real good. The furry's gonna love it. That better be glue. It's glue, people. It's glue. Don't worry about it. What if we look up furry costume? These are cute, but apparently someone told me they were, like, heavily fetish-related, and I was like, really? Because I was kind of tempted to get a custom one of my character, Chubby. Oh, gross. 
Oh, fucking gross. That's AIR. <laughs> now, this is suspicious. Um, I like how they've just completely cropped out this, um, this part of the image by accident. Um, yeah. <laughs> Damn, bitch. I'm gonna have to censor this. Um, if it wasn't AI generated art, I would always be tempted to buy this for myself. But at a price like that, you would have to be actually stupid. That man is holding back demons. Fantastic Mr. Fox, more like Fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> Jesus. And we're not even just... I know a few people who might like some of these. And you know, people have been wearing collars to be kinky for a long time. <laughs> he has jowls! <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> pup play mask with jowls. How do you like your pup play mask? Hanging. Do you think if you wear this, you just start salivating like a fucking basset hound? I think if you wear this, a part of your soul disappears. <sighs> I have nothing else for you. I... It's a Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I'm just gonna feature this one for a few seconds. Just take it in. I like it. It's, it's, it looks well made. It's not weird. I just want you to take it in with me. Okay, that's enough. What in the shadow the hedgehog? Why have, why have you got like a grate over your door in the background? What are you holding back? What, what are you keeping from coming in or getting out? Speaking of the cow thing, this was something that my friends urged me to search up. <laughs> Look at the cheeks! Holy shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a prosthetic udder. And, and the thing that, 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 that messes me up, right? We got Caucasian, tan, dark, black, natural. The fuck's that supposed to mean? You're literally dressing up as... As a cow. Pick, pick a struggle. Is this what, like, bronies think of when, you know, they they fetishize My Little Pony characters and make them, like, not have humanoid tits, but they have, like, equine tits, where it's just two sets of teats near the legs? Is this what they're into? Do they look at, like, this if it was two and get horny? I'm glad I'm not like an incel. I'm glad I don't know the answer to these questions. You shouldn't either. Oh, what the fuck? That's funny as fuck. I kind of want that. Feral? Oh no. Oh wow. Oh wow, this user has feral animal porn on their fucking profile. Why the hell is this goddamn site? That is. Oh my god. It's people like you, leukemia, who keep me going. Cause god damn. Furry merchandise is typically, like, really good. It's really bright, it's really- Is that Borzoi hitting a bong? To each their own. It's typical. This is funny, I guess. Just please don't make me look at what I've just saw. This better be a brush. Because this doesn't look like it's shaped like a brush. Let's play a little game of is it a brush or a hidden sex toy? Is it A, actually a brush? B, a hidden sex toy? Or C, a fursuit fan? It is, thank god. <laughs> if you guessed A, you're not a pervert. Congrats! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take it back now, y'all. Yiff in hell. And it's a goat doing an ahigo face. Okay. Let's... <sighs> Let's move on. I'm taking psychic damage here. I know I'm ill right now. This is just prolonging my sickness. Get up, get down with the sickness. And I am getting down with it. I like this, so this is cool. I've been eyeing this up for a while. This is cool. I like this, but I'm not allowed to get more furry t-shirts because I've got like 60 t-shirts. Oh. 
Just keep scrolling. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm taking psychic damage. Oh! Not gonna lie, the design goes hard as fuck. Let's just keep it at that. For those who aren't uh, aware, this is a Olympic mascot for the Olympics. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, what? Oh, this is what I was talking about. What have they done to you, my boy? I'm so sorry. They look like pieces of haggis. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, no, no, no. Run, run. For those into less musky scents and wanting something a bit cleaner, here's a taste of what this horse is using to wash off after a long day's work. His scent blends cedar, tobacco, bergamot, and mocha. Comes with the 18 plus label, art by Zurich. Is this by the same people? It is. So not only do they do sprays, they do soaps. <laughs> now this company, um, Contract Caffeine has been around for ages. Like, I remember getting into the fandom and these motherfuckers were making soap. And they'll have a logo and a theme which is like furry themed. And the soap is like a puck of soap. Like, you would get um, a solid bar of shampoo at Lush. And you know, a lot of them are like cute themed, like buttercream cupcake, pink sugar. Saturday morning cartoons, that, that sounds fucking adorable. I'm almost tempted to buy from them. <laughs> but it's stuff like this, um, but the, the, and Sex Panther. What the fuck does Sex Panther smell like? Coconut oil, palm oil, mm, that's a carcinogen. Citrus, orange, vanilla, leather, balms, warm musks. You can't have a furry soap without the musks. You gotta have the musks. Musk. It is musk, not musks. What the fuck? But yeah, it's like, oh, I'd love to buy me some restoration, you know, something that's fresh, something that makes me feel good. But if I see it's being sold next to Pampered Pup, I'm fucking pulling way back. I have not been to this shop in a very, very long time, but I do actually have Hyena Agenda merchandise. And if I am um, remembering correctly, they don't have anything suspicious, and they are very famous in the furry fandom. I have the Toxic Kaiju shirt and the Mech Pilot shirt because of course I had to. I love the Glitch Wave skulls, very cool. It's, it's just nice furry stuff where I could go out in public and wear something like this and people aren't immediately going to call me a furry. Even their swimwear is cool as fuck. Okay, maybe I wouldn't want one with like a bunch of dog maws on it, but... Or tentacles. I mean, the print is lovely, but... You know, no, something, something like this. You got a little roadkill possum. <laughs> Funny. You even uh, wear shoes. That's cool. That's sick as hell. I want that. Too bad I don't spend money on clothes. <laughs> I wear the same shit that I've been wearing for the past four years. Now those tentacle shoes do go hard as fuck. So there you go, that is a brief little dive into the strange, wonderful and downright disturbing things you can find on the internet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I will be able to upload a video in a few weeks about Art Fight. For those who are wondering how it's going, it's going. And... <laughs> At this stage, I am excited to see what happens next, but also I can predict what happens next. So let's let's just leave that until the next video, and I'll see you then.